One in eight women in the United States will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime. That's according to the Susan G. Komen Foundation. And a national nonprofit is hoping to help those with breast cancer heal through a retreat in nature. Our Jennifer Reddy takes us inside this special retreat from Canton, North Carolina. In the mountains of Western North Carolina. We're gonna fish the lake. Dave Richard, you're at the boat dock. Jonathan, you're there. Sam and Joe. Does anybody know how to pronounce your last name? A little rain can't dampen the spirits <laughs> of these women and their guides. You're gonna take your ladies to the river and separate yourselves. I was thinking you just fish like a chubby or a grasshopper. Why not? Why not? Grabbing their rods. My arm felt great. We're going with hopeful. Getting ready for a day on the water. It's a I am tired. Charlene Coxon is one of 11 women learning to fly fish at a retreat called Casting for Recovery. And it opened up a new door for me. Ah, yeah. yes. This That's is the it. first time I really talked about my cancer journey. Coxum was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2019. It was a word that I never wanted to hear before. Cancer, it's like a death sentence. But now, more than two years later, she is sharing her experience with other women who have faced a similar battle. You go back, well, come forward. Just pause a little bit longer on that back cast. Like Trish Turner, diagnosed in 2014. It definitely is a different you after the initial shock alone. Uh, and then the treatment. You change in many ways. The women spent two and a half days on Lake Logan. Pick it up quickly and then just let it sail. We spend time learning how to cast, how to tie knots, and then at the same time we also have time to just sit and talk and, and have some of those discussions that you can't have with your mother or your girlfriend. Ann Camden went to the retreat several years ago. I was initially diagnosed in 2009 is an early stage and diagnosed in 2016 with metastatic breast cancer. Now she's a volunteer. I think that casting for recovery gave me the permission to start to get my life back and redefine who I was. The national nonprofit serves hundreds of women across the country through fly fishing retreats like this every year. The activity and the motion in your arm, especially if you've lost lymph nodes, just helps to stretch out your arm and to really get you back into shape. But the benefits extend far beyond that. It's been very refreshing. The women find healing in the water. Point it toward the sky. Point it to the sky. Mentally, it freed me and gave me a sense of peace again. Peace coupled with a newly formed bond that's more like a sisterhood. When you've experienced breast cancer, um, you, you speak the same language. There's a trust and a, an honesty and a love that is really indescribable. In honesty and love, each woman will carry with them. Oh, oh I was so excited, but <laughs> I was so nervous. Taking home the memories on the water and so much more. It may sound so silly, but a new confidence in myself, you know, to get out in nature more and experience new hobbies. And I think there might even be a fly fishing rod in my future. This recovery retreat is such a good support system for somebody just like me who just didn't want to talk about it. And we was free to just express ourselves and be loved on by a great group of women. A reminder that even on a rainy day, the sun will shine again. In Canton, North Carolina, Jennifer Reddy, WIFF News 4.